In this video, I'm going to show you how to explore your data set really easily by adding some clickable buttons, which will automatically highlight different values in your data set. So for example, we have a button here that when I click it, will show me every value in my data set less than four. And I'm able to change this number to be able to see really whatever I want, or I can select greater than. Another example of this is I can change the fonts to only highlight out the data that I want to see. This makes it really easy for me to explore my data and find athletes who are above or below a certain metric really fast. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and just to orient you to our video here, um, basically what I have here is a data set. So in this case, this could be wellness data or really anything that you wanna track. I have a few key features. I have a name, a date, and then the different data that I'm collecting. In this case, um, all of my data is on a one to five scale. And then over here, I've just gone ahead and made myself a little filter pane with the options to turn colors on or turn fonts on, and then basically true or false, whether that's selected, and then less than or greater than. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just add a checkbox for the colors on and how I do that, select the cell, insert, and then I'll select checkbox, and then I'll do the same thing for um, fonts. So what you'll notice is when a checkbox is selected, it has a value of true. When it's not selected, it has a value of false. So we're gonna use this in our formula um, in order to basically determine whether a condition is true or false. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna just select um, or be able to select whether that I'm looking at less than or greater than. So easy way to do this, I'm just going to take this cell here and I'll go to data, data validation, and I'm going to choose a list of items and the two items I'll select are less and then comma greater. And when I hit save, now what that does is creates a drop down box that I can say less or greater. And now what I'll do is just copy that there and I'll have one that's set at less and one that's set at greater. In order to test this formula, let's give this a value of three and this is going to give us our selection. So what we wanna to try to do is write a formula that when this is selected and when these values are less than three, we want to highlight them um, using something called conditional formatting. So let's write out the formula first and then we will um, paste this into our conditional formatting. So what this is gonna look like is equals and, and what and does is it allows me to check for multiple conditions and see whether they're true. So the first thing that we're gonna check for is cell B4, and that is going to be where we store our checkbox. And remember, um, I'm gonna lock this in, because it's never gonna change. Remember that when a checkbox is checked, it has a value of true. So right now our checkbox is checked, and it has a value of true. So that's condition number one met. Then the second condition, we're gonna do a little bit of an if statement here. So I've done a comma, now I'll do if, and I want to check to see if um, cell C3 is equal to less. So I'm going to lock that in because that's never going to change. C3 is equal to quotations less. And right now that is true. And then I'll hit comma. If it is, what I want to do is check to see whether G2, which is our first data, G2 is um, less than the value in C4. And right now that is false because it is above the value in C4. So in this case, this would not highlight that value. Comma, if it is false, then what I want to do is this same um, operator, but I want to actually check to see whether it's greater than. So why this works, because if C3 is not equal to less, then it would definitely be equal to greater. So we would wanna to check to see whether it is um, greater than the value in C4, okay? So basically how this formula works is it's and, whether the checkbox is true, so we just put the cell for the checkbox, then if C3 equals less, then we wanna to check to see whether the value in um, G2 
is less than the value that we've entered. And if it isn't equal to less, then we want to check to see if the value in G2 is greater than C4. So I'll hit enter. So because we're checking for less, let's um, enter a value. Let's make it greater. And now that becomes true because it is greater than the value in three. So what we're gonna do is take this formula, just copy it as is, and I'm going to copy all of my data and I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting. And what I'll do is on this tab where it says format rules, go down to custom rules or custom formula is, and I will just paste that formula right in there. And because of the way we've set it up, it should work automatically. Now it's important to note that all of those values that we had um, locked in with dollar signs, that is because those cells never change. The ones that we leave open, so in this case G2, that's going to refer to every cell between G2 and J40. So in this case, it would be G2, H2, I2, J2, um, G3, H3, I3, J3, and so on and so forth until we get to J40. So when I'm ready for this, I can hit done. And now let's play with this a little bit. I can turn it on or off. So right away, it's going to highlight that values. And now looks, let's look for all the ones that are less than three. And then we can highlight it. Maybe we wanna look for all the ones less than two, just to pull out all of the ones or all of the ones less than four. So that's how that works. And now for our second condition, we're gonna do a font that basically um, changes all of the ones that meet our criteria um, to a different font. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take that formula that we've already worked on, but now we have to change a couple of things. The first thing is that for our fonts one, our checkbox is stored in cell B6. So let's go ahead and change that to B6. Then the next thing we're looking for is Instead of C3, we're gonna look for C5. So go ahead and change that. And then G2 is going to stay the same, but now our value is actually stored in C6. So what I'll do is I'll highlight that, highlight that, and now this formula will work. So I will copy this formula all the way through and go into my cells. And the easy way to do this is just hit add another rule and what I can do is custom formula is, and I will just paste that right in there. And this time I don't want um, a green color. What I wanna do is actually bold the font. So if I select this, it's gonna bold every one that is greater than three. Okay, so that includes all of my fours and fives. We're gonna add one more rule here. And for the last one, what I wanna do is now, because we've bolded everyone that is um, less than or equal to um, three, or sorry, greater than or three, what we wanna do is I want to desaturate everyone that is um, less than or equal to that value or basically the opposite. So if we're looking for greater than, then we want less than. If we're looking for less than, then we want greater than. So the easy way to do that is all I have to do is just reverse both of these operators to the opposite of what they are. And I'm going to include the equal so that we have no numbers left behind. I'll hit enter. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this formula. And in my new conditional format, I will just paste that right in there. And now all I wanna do is make the, the um, the font a light gray color and I'll hit done. So now when we turn this on, we will bold um, basically half of our colors and then light gray anything that doesn't match our criteria. Again, we can switch this from greater to less than or less than a greater than. We can use some of these at the same time. Okay, and you can see they work in tandem and that's really how we add a couple of extra filters to our data set. So I hope this trick helps you out and if it does, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, that really helps me out, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.